Hello, I'm the Budget Muddler and this is the first episode of my new diorama build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like and ring my bell. That would be brill, thank you. So without further ado, I'll pass you over to the host in the shed, Steph, so he can tell you what I'm working on. Thanks for that introduction, Steph. So here we are in the shed or the man cave for an introduction into my next venture, which will be Meng's King Tiger, the Porsche turret, along with Meng's King Tiger Porsche turret interior set. Along with Thunder Models German Berg Panzer Hertzer Early. This one, never seen it before. It's a Hetzer base, an early Hetzer, which has got a big winch on it. These were produced in 19... For, late 44, early 45. Uh, they, there was meant to be 117 made, only 110 were built. And it's got a two ton folding jib. And what I'm going to do is have the King Tiger, the Bergpanzer, and they're going to be removing one of the sprocket wheels. Is it the first drive or the last drive? One of the two. I was told about that earlier. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly go through the sprues on these. So Never made a Thunder model before. So, we have a nice glossy colours. Uh, gives you Ming Ammo reference colours. Uh, this is early 45. And this one is a BMM in Prague in 1945. So, I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to do that one because I like the green over the red. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Here's some destructions, which you get a complete interior with this. So, yep, all looks pretty routine. So, yep, all nice and routine. They, I, do, I do like the way they've done these destructions they look really really good so yeah that looks really quite nice so we'll have a look at uh, some of the uh, plastic not all of it uh, you get this number eight, so these are the optional bits. So you've got to fill some bits. Nice tray, bit of PE work there. There's all your PE. So try not to get it under the shiny light. So that's all your PE there. So that looks quite nice. So we'll have a look at oop, crunch this bit of plastic. Um, I'll go quiet and I'll quickly cut this bit. Right, there we go. I didn't want you to hear all the rustling and rattling and everything, so let's give this a quick cut. Okay, this plastic looks quite nice, quite bendy and flexible. Yep, got some nice, oh, we've got some very, very nice welding beads there. That's, this is going to be quite a nice little model. Yep, all parts looking really nice. They've got 
different textures so may not need to do any texturing but you never know I might just do a bit of texturing so yeah that plastic on that looks really nice so I'll put that away nice little cut sequence there straight into it so there's a the King Tiger with a Porsche turret this is the full model I've also ordered the tracks and everything as you can see you get solid tracks in this so usual main stuff absolutely brilliant so well molded you've got to love a bit of main so I pop those away so basically I'm building three models hopefully I'm gonna have it so you can actually lift the top of the King Tiger off so you can see the internals ah they're not going in are they pop those to one side um, I'll go through those in a sec Let's have a look. There's the turret. Nice moulding on there as per usual. Really, really nice. That there is your former for your tracks. So you put your tracks in there and you glue them together and that will help you help them form. So that's really nice. in there clear parts looking very nice oh, I bought some uh, German clasps these you make you actually bend them and fold them and make them and do silly things like that so yep they're from Aber So what you do with those is you just remove the clasps on there and then just pop them on. Okay, that's interesting. I've just found a part in the bottom of the box. That's good. Uh, oh, you get a metal barrel if you want to use a metal barrel. Uh, that's the only PE you get. And there's the decals. And that is a big map of Normandy. these back and I will go through the colour sheets all this away Sheet. So it's France 1944, Hungary 1945, and Normandy 1944. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna go for yet. Whether it's gonna be, they're both Wehrmacht. Well, they're all three are Wehrmacht. So Probably that one, as it matches the Bergpanzer. Okay, time frame's a little bit different, but it's not that much different. Anyway, it's a model. Um, as you can see, 
I've gone through and highlighted if you choose to assemble the interiors don't install parts C3 and C4 so I've highlighted C3 and C4 is on the other side so I've gone all the way through here it says if you choose to assemble interiors don't install parts D22 and D23 I've done the same there um, I've installed I'm getting the suspension which is SPS 038 oh yeah kit numbers this is um, 135th Tyrannosaurus Series TS037 the Thunder Model 1 is Plastic Kit 35102 and the interior one is uh, SPS 062 so anyway if you choose to assemble workable tracks this step is not applicable the SPS 038 kit is sold separately that's on order I'm just waiting to do for that to come so as it says here do not mix up left track with right one I'm sure some of you would uh, spot that and let me know there we go same again E12 doesn't need doing and it's just I'm not going to say it looks straightforward, but it looks fun to do. Uh, there's your parts for moulding the left and right grills, which are there, which is quite nice because these I'm going to have open with somebody with a head inside having a look. And again, if you choose to assemble interiors, this step is not applicable. Um, I'll probably have this part removable so you can actually see inside so you can pop it off and have a look inside um, I was initially going to have it exploded view using uh, transparent rods to make sure everything lifts up and about but I thought about it and went no actually I want to make it a scene so Yep, that's up to there. And the scene will also have some uh, troops wandering around and guarding the tank. Okay, and now the interior set. <clears throat> I'll go through that in a moment. So, as you can see here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen rounds. One, two, three. And four. So we've got 76. 76 rounds there that we have to paint and decal. Hence the reason where's all the decals? top bit is just for in the cabin and this 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 and this and that I believe is all for the for the rounds so there's that I'll come back to the rest of this in a bit so there's that one so again very very nice very very detailed plastic You get some cracking detail on this. Absolutely cracking. So there's the engine. And there's the bits that you're going to be using. So yeah, it's uh, one of those I'm really, really looking forward to. You also get a 
a spring for the gun. Why? I don't know. Backing card. But the one thing I like about this is this PE is covered in plastic on both sides. So you can peel one side off, leave the other side on, cut your bits and they won't go ping like mine always do. You've seen it. You've seen them go boing. So yeah. There's that. What I'm going to be doing tonight is labelling up all the sprues. So put a bit of tape on them, put the letter on. And then what I can use is something that I made today, which is my sprue holder. It's a piece of wood. That's it. They are 10 mil apart. And I can either have them like that, but they're angled too sharply, or there it goes that way, like that, all the way along so I can see and I'll have my tabs a certain way all the way along. Um, a bit of wood cost me nothing. These handles I got from B&Q, they were £6 for 10 they're just plastic draw handles, as you can see. And I drilled a hole every two centimetres, which gives me 10 centimetres left. I might go and buy another pack of 10, because I've got some more room there. And I'm thinking, oh, I've got lots of sprues here, and I've got spaces for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 sprues and it goes up to Q or R something like that so I might go and get another 10 and extend that a bit and that is my homemade one that cost me 12 quid that's it to make your own one and about an hour's work so that was that so let's put this lot away to one side for the moment. I'll quickly go through the other destruction. So this is the interior for the Porsche turret. As you can see I've also gone through these. Uh, the top says it unmarked parts in step 1 to step 16 and then step 19 to step 28 are all painted with MC237 or N33 which is red brown. So everything from here to here is red brown unless it is stated there so there's one colour uh, there's another colour and another one and all the way through so these will be painted that colour which I'll probably use my uh, red primer for that and on 17 um, unmarked parts in this step are painted with N32 which is probably black. I'm not sure, but I will refer to my trusty book because what I do is write down their number and then correlate it to the colours I have got. So uh, N32 is German dark grey highlight, it said. So N32. German dark grey, that's XF63, which works out to German grey. So, these are all German grey. So, everything there is German grey, and nothing is a different colour. 18, 
all German grey apart from those two parts which are N8 which is silver and all these parts N11 which is matte white N33 red brown so as you can see and then everything from steps it was 19 to 26 I believe uh, 19 to 28 so everything else this has probably already been painted and then you just come through everything else as you can see I've highlighted the way they go which way so that into that onto there there we go all the way through I've also marked out the decals so I know I've got to do them because what I tend to do is cross off each part of I, as I've done it so there we go and lots of PE ammo rack assemblies right here you go here's the ammunition so you've got one two three on the K20s and then you've got three so that's 76 times three which is 228 so I've got 228 decals to do hi eight Declan Bane of my life and then they all go in here all the different parts of the gun everything else going in there you go so yeah it looks like a really really cracking build so I'm really really looking forward to this so oh, there's a gun spring So you can play Zebedee with a gun spring. Oh, there we go. That is all done. So that's what I've got. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts there. Eight sprues there. Let's have a look in the original box. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six. So fine, I've got loads of space. But I know I've got two there, four of those. So there's six, seven, eight, nine, ten main frames. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 12 so 10 and 12 is 22 which means i'm going to have to go and get some more so there's a little job for me to do tomorrow anyway that's the end of that so thank you very much for watching come back for the next episode no not come back for the next episode right back to the front room and Steph, where he's doing the editing. Thanks for that, Steph. We're definitely looking forward to this one. There will be figures, but I'm just waiting on those coming through as I had a last minute change of mind and plans. Anyway, thank you for watching episode one. If you want to see what happens in episode two, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many models as possible, like the video and ring my bell. Remember folks, Stay safe, keep on modelling.